When you create a new file or you make changes to an existing file in Illustrator, you'll need to save your work. So let's look at a few different ways to do that. If you want to follow along, you can open this document from the tutorial practice files. With the file open, let's save a copy of the file. So click the file menu up here above the document. And if this is a brand new document and you're saving it for the first time, you could choose save. This isn't a new document, so you can't choose save. We're going to save it somewhere else and give it a new name by choosing save as. Now when you first save a new file or you choose save as, you'll see this cloud document dialog box. In the Illustrator on the desktop, you can save your document as an Adobe Cloud document or locally on your computer. Now a cloud document is an Illustrator document stored in the Adobe Cloud that can be accessed anywhere you sign into Illustrator. That includes Desktop Illustrator and Illustrator on the iPad. Saving as an Illustrator cloud document or saving on your computer retains layers, type, and other editable Illustrator properties. Now the extension for an Illustrator cloud document is .aic for Adobe Illustrator Cloud. When it comes to cloud documents, changes are automatically saved, you have access to document history, and you can work offline. In this case, you'll save your document locally on your computer. In this dialog box, click Save on your computer to save it to your computer. On the Save As dialog box that opens, you can switch to saving as a cloud document by clicking the Save Cloud Document button here. This opens the dialog box for saving to the Adobe Cloud. If you want to save it locally, you can click on your computer, and you'll return to the Save As dialog box. Now to save on your computer, you can choose a different location to save the file if you like. I'll keep it in the same folder. You can change the name, maybe by adding a hyphen and a version number at the end like this. That way you can make a copy and also keep the original. Make sure that Adobe Illustrator is the chosen format on macOS or save as type on Windows. When you save and work in Adobe Illustrator files, the file has a .ai extension, and everything is preserved so you can edit it later as you need. Click Save to save a copy of the file. Now, whenever you save a file for the first time or you save a document as a copy, you'll see this dialog box after saving. This dialog box may seem a little overwhelming. The settings in here actually allow you to save an Illustrator document to previous versions of Illustrator, among other more advanced options. Now, in many cases, you can simply click OK, which is what you can do now. So go ahead and click OK to save the file. Now, in order for someone else to open and view the Illustrator file you just saved, they'll need to have Illustrator. And if they can open a file with Illustrator, they can probably edit it. So at times, you may want to just send a visual copy of your file that anyone can view. You can do that by saving your document as a PDF. You can learn how to save as a PDF in the Share section of this Getting Started course.